Yeah. What's up, everybody? We are live tonight. It is uh, Thursday night. I got the Ben Herrera show. We got Starlito, and we got a special bit. We're not on here. I mean, on camera yet. But uh, well, let's go ahead and play our sponsor video real quick, and then we'll get to you in just a moment. This episode is brought to you by Papa John's, 280 North River Avenue, right here in Holland. Give them a call, 616-355-7272. Southside Cuts, with two locations, 114 West 16th or 375 Columbia Avenue, 616-836-7502. They're open weekly, 10 to 8. <laughs> Pure West Compassion Club, located at 9730 Adams Street, Holland, Michigan, or get a hold of them at 616-772-9420 or visit their website at purewestclub.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for joining tonight. It is the Ben Herrera Show, live here Thursday night at Black River Studios. And uh, we have a special guest tonight that we want to show. Oh, and I got my hair fixed. Uh, thanks for Angel. Squirrel. You're an Angel of Shadow. Thanks, Angel, over at uh, Southside Cuts for the new cut. And, uh, you know, I look hot. And then we got our special guest. First, we got Aesthetic Promotions, which this is. Oh, let me put this on. He gave us one of these so we can uh, show off our. I mean, so we can hide our drinks. So that was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and introduce you, and then we'll work our way around. Gabriel Cavazos from Aesthetic Promotions and Entertainment. Uh, Giovanni Ramirez. <laughs> Uh, guitarist and lead vocalist on the group. Pablo, bassist, solo. Excellent work. Excellent work. Now, uh, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but, you know, we like to have fun here. And, uh, you know, I got to put my live up here so I can see who's talking and who's chatting. Um, so let's go ahead and start with, you know, for one word to name, whoever wants to answer. Where Actually, did you... you know what? Let's start this way. Or if you want to, yeah. Let's start Let's the promotions. Way. Okay, yeah. Where did you start and how did, how did you come to be a promoter or a um, business? Always been an audiophile, love music all my life. My uncle is Ramiro Galatos, always a musician, played with the original Downs and Johnny Roscoe. That's all oh, nice. You cool. Know, so, <laughs> and then all my other uncles, you know, they, they you know, my, my great uncles, they played it for me. And, Music was always kind of around. Um, then I was DJing for a while, <clears throat> late 90s, early 2000s. Friends, my brothers, um, Ray and Roy Valdez, mm -hmm. one of my favorite local bands. I was always booking them, you know, giving them tocados here and there throughout the city. And mm -hmm. one day they just said, hey, you know, you pretty much doing a good job booking a gig. Why don't you try to take it? Nice. So cool. Started, you know, being the manager and prepared this group. Take the city over. Get everybody up there. Got you. Got stack of promotions and entertainment. Nice. So how did you get to meet these fun gentlemen? Uh, Giovanni is actually my family. He's my cousin. His oh, nice. mother is actually my first cousin. His grandma and my mom are so Was she not like my mother's oh, cousin's oh, family? <laughs> <laughs> I know it kept going. I was like, "Where's this gonna end?" I'm not, I'm not, I'm not reading the Bible, homie. <laughs> yeah, so we're related, and then you know these are his his guys, you know his friends. His mother six one six, and you know I've been watching them for a while, seeing these guys grow, and you know when they hit that sweet spot, I made my move. Cool, cool. Let's go with you. Hey, uh, my name is Giovanni. Um, I barely just started playing four years ago on the guitar. I don't really have. Oh, um, so what started you? Like, like what? What got you? Well, I've always loved music. I've always mm -hmm. loved listening to it, and like everywhere I go, I had these like Studio Beats headphones. Yeah, and I would just go around. I've well, some of their got great beats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big ass ones. Yeah, you know, yeah. wireless, and I just uh, I would always walk around, just ignore the world, and just listen to music. Um, one day, one of my boys said, "Hey, like, we're about to go uh, kick back in the garage or whatever." All right, fuck it. Yeah. And then uh, that's where I met this dude right here, Victor, and a bunch of other people that played guitar. And I was, I don't know, crazy. Like, 
you know, it was like the first time seeing live music like in front of my face. Hmm. So I just it just got me inspired, and then I bought my first guitar in uh, 2020. Wait, so you never even been to a concert? I've been to I've seen ACDC like in there you go like 2008. How good they the metal banner yeah. right and yeah. uh, I've seen ACDC. There you go. Oh my god, they I've seen them live. They know how to put on a show. Yeah, ACDC is cool. But um, but yeah, so from there I just started learning the guitar and then I started mm-hmm. messaging him and then got in contact. So I was doing music together. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Victor. Um, I mean, I think around in music, I got around like I got about like eight, seven years. Mm-hmm. Here, I started because um, my brother here, he's been at it for uh, longer than I have, and. Uh, mm-hmm. He jumped music classes and then I seen him shoot this year. Or I didn't see him shoot it, but I seen the music video. And I was like, man, you try it too. <laughs> it was pretty nice too. So I started playing the guitar when I was like 14. Really, you know, practice YouTube. I learned through YouTube videos and stuff. No, you really? Yeah, man. That actually works? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's like, yeah. <laughs> That's how I picked yeah, the car. Just kidding. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, and you know, with time, I learned how to how to write music and stuff. So we got a couple songs in the vault, you know, mm-hmm. pending to be released. And stuff. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. What about um, you? I've been doing music basically all my life. Um, my parents told me that when I was a toddler. Oh my God. <laughs> Go ahead. When I was a toddler, uh, or my parents told me that when I was a toddler, I next to my one of my grandpas who played mm-hmm. like uh, piano at the time. Okay. And um That's how I hear. Yeah. So I've done contests, singing contests when I was fucking old. Um you do that <laughs> uh I didn't pick up an instrument until I was like eight, nine. I picked up the bass for some. All right. I took a few classes on it. I didn't learn much. So I took on it and then um I, I continued with singing but when he picked up the guitar I picked up the bass again and then uh, we started working together again so who's married who's single who's got kids I'm the only single one these two are basic Wait, they're, they're, married. Married. <laughs> they're basically they're married. Married. <laughs> well, they, what happened was yeah. my uncle's aunt's cousin yeah <laughs> They have our kids. No. Nah, I got a girlfriend. We've been at it for like four years. We've been at it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we've been in a relationship for four years, so. The ladies is off the market. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully she's watching the live at home. Shout out. And you're single? I'm single. Ladies, single. Single. Get up. Yeah. Oh, so, um,. Okay, so you say you're from Grand Rapids. All of you are from Grand Rapids? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and okay, so where'd you come up with the name? Where'd the name come from? Where'd you get that name? Um, I don't know. We were trying to come up, well, once we agreed that we we're going to, you know, work together and try to do it. We all sat there. How long do we think that takes? We <laughs> it's hard to come up with, like, a, a name. That's we don't want to sound goofy. Yeah. But here, that's what I was gonna say. So we all says, "Hey, today. Yep. there they are, off the Cal Carter." But uh, so I know because a lot of bands have those weird names when they first start out. Because we all know Nirvana wasn't Nirvana in the very, very, very beginning. What was your guys' first pick, if you remember? I think. I mean, we didn't, we didn't have one. You didn't have one yet? No. Okay. It was, it was the first. We just the first one you got. Yeah. Let's just use that. Well, yeah. okay, so like Puddle of Mud. You guys know who that is, right? Yeah. Rock group, alternative rock group. What? I listen to them. Puddle of Mud. What? Their first, oh. their first name was it's Mud word. Honey. Oh, yeah. Mud Honey, really? It started, I didn't know that. It, it started because they were, in the, they were in the garage, but the garage didn't have concrete. It was dirt. So when it rained, it was nothing but mud. And the mom came out and she goes, why are you in the mud, honey? <laughs> So they stuck with the name Mud Honey. Just like Guns N' Roses is two different bands put together. Really? So L.A. Guns and something with something Roses. 
So they formed so the band together. I'm a diehard Guns N' Roses fan. And I never knew that. Mm-hmm. I remember Elliot. We dig. We dig. We dig. Okay. I I got a um, Guns N' Roses magazine over there. <laughs> In the other room. <laughs> <room. laughs> <laughs> they are on the other side of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> um, they, done, they did Ballad of Jane, right? Hmm. Was that? What, didn't they do Ballad of Jane? Guns N' Roses? Guns? No, that was LA Guns. That was LA Guns, yeah. yeah. Oh, I did not know that was Super Soul. That's Mark Hey, Yo, hello. Where do you guys where do you guys want to be in the next year, the next five years? Where do you guys see yourself? Hopefully, um you know, playing at locals. You know, just like everybody else, you know, we've been trying to make it out here as well, you know, make our name for uh, make a name for ourselves, you know. So mm-hmm. we've been trying to push it out there with recording music that's like I said earlier, pending to release. So um, okay. we're hoping to make a big hit in the a big impact in the city. Actually, Los Hermanos 616 has made an impact. Yeah. Because every time it comes to, like, well, I need a small band, everybody comes up with Los Hermanos 616. Yeah. So you guys I have seen your name. I've seen you guys' names on Facebook plenty of times. Just, uh, uh, so, you feel uh, mainly that it shows around Grand Rapids with our type of music, it, it really hasn't been hitting. Like, in Grand Rapids? Yeah, yeah. we've tried. We've yeah. tried to get our name in, into clubs. And you would everything. think, you would. Right. Yeah, could be the other way around. around. We're, we're going to change. Yeah, we're gonna oh, we're right. Exactly. Grand Rapids, like, Grand Rapids quit messing it, around. My place. Oh. Yeah. Do not need it anymore. Yeah, there's groups oh, out there yeah. that'll make people dance and stuff, but I feel like we, what we, we don't got need is, people dance. Yeah. yeah. I feel like what we got is more of a show. Get them drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Get them smoking. Like, like, get them smoking. We set the vibe. We don't have people moving too much. Just have them relax, smoking, get their beers open, enjoy the music, and yeah. you know, okay, hear us out a little bit. But so start the party, you guys like start the party group. But that yeah. style of music, the corrido tumbao, and you know their their style, and people like them, it's it's gaining more and more traction. It's yeah. it's starting to you know get its foot like bloom in the market, yeah. and, and mm-hmm. it's opening up to everyone. Yep. Are you guys open to making new videos? Hi, Mari. Music oh, yeah. video. Oh, yeah. Mari, it wasn't letting me tag you. Um, I was actually, Hi, guys, I was going to ask you guys that too. So, because when I saw you guys at uh, La U, uh festival, I literally was thinking, like, man, we could do a freaking video for these guys. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, we couldn't get enough footage because, I mean, things happen and, you know, we had to go do something else. But uh, I was we thinking, what we see, yeah. we come back, we talk about what we've seen, what we, you yeah. know, your guys' name came up for several seconds. Yes, so I mean, I, I was thinking that too. Talk to about everybody, so. she says, Hey, Mark, because I, you know, I was literally thinking, like, with you guys standing like somewhere and you guys singing whatever song it was that you picked, I was already thinking of a music video. I was like, We got to get them in here. So then you got, and some, I think it was you that mentioned, because I forgot who he said he was coming in, because we both looked. And we got confused because yeah. <laughs> I know he he, does, he deals with Drupal Viento and everything. Yeah. Drupal Viento is coming, and I'm like, wait a minute, no, no <laughs> who's coming? <laughs> so finally, we were like, okay, good. Now I know who, who we're talking about. So that's literally what I was thinking when I saw you guys, or when we found out who it was. Like, I'm gonna bring that up. So when I pitched the video after after the Lao Festival, I pitched the video to him mm-hmm. of you guys at the state park. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, mm. on the beach? On the yeah. beach, right oh, on here. Do you remember that? We did, um... Did did you you to, yeah. I, uh... Okay, so the first question. Oh, yeah. That he thought uh, asked, do you have a business page we can share or a contact if we want to book them? It's, uh... Yeah, I mean, you can get, you can get to uh, either or. You got a stack of promotions on Facebook and we'll set them on 616 on Facebook and YouTube. Or you can contact Black River Studios and we'll give you the contact. And yeah, we'll share that information as well. Sure. Uh, you know, I, mean, I think uh, just even um, hearing you guys practice, you know, you got uh, like a almost a laid back style, but from what I heard, so is there any like, because um, somebody said, did they have any Metallica? Well, who <laughs> was <laughs> it? You guys play other music? Yeah, do you guys any play any other styles like that? Um, like, uh, not really. I mean, I've learned. I learned the heavens. <laughs> I learned. Yeah, I did in the beginning. <laughs> I know. Yeah. 
tried to practice like a couple of times to like get you know. Alright, so I've learned on one by Metallica. Oh, okay. the while ago. There we go. Yeah, it looks like really it's going to be Metallica. Um, and I started learning some like jazz chords. So oh, I right. got into like Spanish jazz. <laughs> so where hey, do you want to, where, what city would you like to see them on stage at a huge stage performing huge stage downtown grand rapids downtown grand rapids we better start at the home home, home first first. home first home crowd first because you got to look at it as if your home crowd accepts you yeah you'll make it it'll break place. out anywhere so have you tried uh setting up a, a meeting with the person that owns uh with that which one uh, that stage is right downtown. Oh, the the boss? No, or, are you talking about Grand Rapids or how? Yeah, Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids was that? The intersection? intersection? No, not the intersection. The one that's outside. Oh, the oh, Studio the Twenty something. Rosa Parks. Rosa oh, Rosa oh, that Rosa one. Yeah. 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 Um, when they do their summer concert series and any kind of public events like that, uh, the years already passed. So mm -hmm. they in December is when they start uh, renewing all that. So. In December, I've already signed up to get them and everybody else that you know, I'm there with or promote to uh, <laughs> to get into there for the general public. Um, I actually did reach out to the intersection last week, and uh, I got something going on. Sweet, sweet, nice. nice. So, All right, guys, you heard that first. Possible, <laughs> possible intersection show coming up. I'll let you know. All right. Uh, so, what do you want your fans to know? Make sure the ones who do watch you guys and follow you. Guys. Oh, yes. What do you want them to know? We're working hard. Like we're recording. We're uh, right, we're, we're not slacking. Like we we don't post much. We don't, yeah, we don't post too much. So we're yeah. we've been very yeah. inactive on social media, but behind the scenes, we're recording. We're practicing. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying new things with the music scene. What sounds best because yeah. we want to give people the best. We know we're different, and we want to stay different. That's yeah. what makes you guys exactly. You know, like you play, play keep your own song. style. That's like fifteen bands playing the one on the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, Don. That's what we try. That's what we try to make. Yep. Yeah, because you need to. Because there's a lot of people out there that try to be like other people, or try to um, cover band. Cover bands. I mean, cover bands are okay in certain, um, I guess, venues. I guess you want to look at it. But if you're trying to be like somebody else, then nobody's gonna listen to. You. So even just listening to you guys out there, I liked it because it was like, it just sounded good, you know, for sure. He's over here dancing. And I was, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't dance. He's a white boy. He, he doesn't dance. He's like a <laughs> I was just dancing. All right, I was just going with that. <laughs> but uh, I do like it. I like, I like it. You guys a style. You sound good. Um. So, okay, what instrument do you play again? Play the 12 string. Oh, six string. Can we start? I play bass and I'll play bass. Oh, and, and, and I, you play money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you play pens with contracts? Right. So, um, were you guys ever thinking of uh, getting like a drummer in or anything like that? In that style of music, no. You can't do no. something like that? Okay. We've tried, you know, with like other groups. You know, sitting in other oh, genres yeah. or categories in the in the business, but you know, in our opinion, you know, we rather you know just play play it's guitar, or bass, or like other forms of bass. You know. So in other words, don't uh the word uh, don't fix what I forget. Don't don't fix what what but, yeah, but, that's but, but we are open to you know always work with other groups that have that style. You know, but you know. And on that on that note too, I, I want to add that mm -hmm. right now they're kind of moonlighting with another group that mm -hmm. we we've been working with and putting together. Um, shout out to Ana Munoz and uh, Versace. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and you know we're, we're moonlighting with them guys too, uh, collaborating and, and doing big things. So be on the lookout for them as well. So why this type of music? Well, it's well, I don't know. For me personally, just relates with the most i feel it i mean, like I, i'm not saying that like the other music like corillas or whatever like isn't bad i i listen to them too but whenever i listen to this music i'm just 
<laughs> Sometimes it's all different, different vibes. Goals so yeah. hard, and, it, and mm-hmm. it, it's a better feeling too when you know that you can play that music. Exactly. And, and then so, when you hear it play back, you'd be like, "We did that." Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. where in this genre, where does that music come from? Like at least where does it come from? Where, where does it come from? Or is this something you guys just do together? Um, this, well, we're not that. Well, yeah, I don't got you. Yeah, Junior got you. They, they're, they're from Mexico. Um, I don't know what part from Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what part from Mexico, but I don't know if they're, um, like they're more city. Mm. They're more yeah, like urban. Urla. Yeah, they're more urban than uh, than ranchos. Uh, okay. And uh, I think they're they're different in growing. It's different. So what do you want your fans to know, like personal wise? Personal. Your favorite thing. <laughs> any single any single to uh solo to solo just coming more into the picture i'm working on that um solo um other things i'm gonna work on the bass well i was working on new music so any artist out there you know where where our dms are always open to work so yeah. you know if you guys want to hit us up we're always down you know we don't get a lot yep we're down for collabs all the time Ooh. So how can they get a hold of you again? You want to repeat that, please? Uh, you can uh, go to my Facebook, as Deco Promotions Entertainment, or you can direct call me, 616-323-5380. Am I on screen? There it is. Deco Promotions. Deco Promotions. We got, uh, Leah says, uh, watched, who's Marcus? Marcus? He's probably not on the Oh, he said, Marcus video, you guys sound good. Oh, was he at the show? At the, I don't know. I don't know who that is. I think he was referring to your live earlier. Oh, Marcos. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he messed it up too. Come on, dude. Come on. Drink another one. Huh? But anyway, what, where's you guys the next gig? Besides tonight. No, I'm just um, kidding. Well, the next gig, um, which we just put in the works yesterday, is going to be uh, November 22nd here in Holland. Yeah. Oh, hopefully oh. at the Civic Center. It's nice. Going to be these guys with Ana Munoz and Versace. Nice. So it's going to be, Sweet. you know, me and Tio have been working on that. Now, of course, you guys yeah. already know about, you know, doing the Latino nights here now. Mm-hmm. Latino nights are going to be a Friday nights yep. at the Civic Center. Yep. Okay. So oh, yeah. That's going to be the next gig coming up. Yes. What did I just forget? How did I forget? Did you forget everything? It's because I'm for Latino. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my mom's side. My mom says to play this. That's how he will ruin everybody's name in Spanish. I will. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't. Los hermanos 616. Los hermanos 616. I know that my favorite is uh, Los Australias de Oro. <laughs> oh. He cannot pronounce any Spanish. I can't. <laughs> I've been practicing with him, and he <laughs> <laughs> he wants even the even the Oreos. If, even, yeah. I said oh, the, the Oreo cookies. Oreo. Yeah, but shout out to Los Tres de Oro. Yeah, yeah. and John Ortiz, yeah. John Ortiz, Stephen Herrera, Elias. You messed up Marcos's name. <laughs> Who are we talking about? I don't know. Let's uh, hold on. One, oh, uh, oh, I want to put this on. Screen again. <laughs> Maris is, is <laughs> she always does this. Okay, so here's a uh, pack of promotions. Uh, or wait, entertainment and promotion. Is it? Is yep. this a stack? Is that right? Stack okay. entertainment and promotion. Okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I like this. So Gabriel oh, likes to get on the poll for entertainment. If the mom's <laughs> right. <laughs> so here's their uh, phone number. Who came up with the design script? Um, Here's our phone number um, right here. The guy who does the digital flyers for my nephew, uh, John John Doe, uh, he does. Is that uh, his actual name? No. <laughs> I don't know why gonna say that. Oh, damn, that's, that's so that, right. That's just that's his stage name. my nephew. It's my sister's son. Okay. Uh, he's a rapper. He's a local rapper in Grand Rapids. Um, okay. His guy who does his digital artwork uh, mm-hmm. created my logo. That's actually nice. I like it's that. That's a nice logo. Except I wonder if that. That feather was supposed to be red. Oh. <laughs> anyway, um, sorry. So it's uh six one 
616-323-5380. Get a hold of them. If you got a band, you guys, you know, it's, okay, you know, I'm going to let you do it. What do you, like, what kind of things do you have? Just music or is it anything? What else? do you offer? Oh, right now it's it's music, but I am moving into uh, the, the event planning space, you know, party planning. Mm -hmm. um, I actually just recently did a wedding. Oh, nice. Um, what? That was pretty good. And then uh, I am working on doing some comedy shows, too. Nice. You want to shut up your wife's uh, business? Or did you say you did planning for a wedding? Yeah, but I was doing it. Oh, you were doing it. That's a man. Okay. What are you talking about? My wife doesn't do any of it. Wedding planner, quinceañera, divorce parties, whatever. Hit me. I got you. You're the first one to say that. Divorce, divorce parties. Divorce parties. Divorce parties. Divorce parties. <laughs> but yeah, so I, right now it's music, but um, I have been moving into the event, you know, the party planning space. Um, 2025, I'm looking to do some, uh, you know, bring some uh, Latino comics to Grand Rapids to get some more uh, diversity in there versus, you know, the, the run of the norm that we've been getting. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking for for the, the calendar of 2025. Music's going to be, music will be my mainstay, but I want yeah. to get into, you know, the party planning and because I'm big on comedy. So do I. All the now, if you can get here. Adam Sandler, we'll be hey, we'll be the bestest hey, friends. I work on it. Work <laughs> Bring him here too. No. Uh, John Ortiz says, "Good evening, fellas." What up, John? Yeah. Yo, yo. Um, yeah, John Ortiz, you need to get over here too, mijo. Right. So, uh, what are the notches on your belt? How many heavy girls have you? Had? Oh, how many what? Like, oh, <laughs> like <I> said, <laughs> he was stuck right there. <laughs> I was gonna say, what the frick is that? So does your girl know about your tight chicken? <laughs> playing your jokes. I told you to put them on the spot. <laughs> we had to make sure you were awake. I'm like, what the frick was that? I forgot he was over there. Um, yeah. So it's. Okay, so we got what? Three more minutes. Okay. Anything else? Oh, is there any shout outs you guys want to put out there before you go on stage? Personal, wives, girlfriends. That's Tell your family. wives you better have food ready. Family. Shout, shout out to the family. family. Shout out to my girl, Anna Carcini. Shout out to uh, Roy and Ray Valdez, Los Hermanos Valdez from Grupo Viento. Brother Jr. from Estrella Doro. Elias, Grupo Fierro. Johnny Vasquez, you know. All the heavy hitters. What up, Moyle? That's all. Um, John Ortiz says he'll make it out here. He was practicing. I will make it there again. What's up, Moyle? What's up, everybody? Or what's up, Moyle? Uh, yeah, so I, I think what we're going to do here welcome. is I'm going to find out. Uh, primo? Luna? Oh, is your primo? Yeah, that's my primo. Our primo. Wait, which one? Jose Luna? Luna? Yeah, Jose Luna. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm gonna find out how we can do this. Um, so even if they gotta go to my page, I'm open. So oh yeah, do that, and then they can just save yours. Simple. Okay. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually let me go here. Are you, is it already on live over there? Yeah. Oh yeah, because you could use uh, yeah, go put yours on live. Excuse me, Carlito is out. Carlito says <laughs> going to put his live. So I can share his live. <laughs> and uh, what up, Jose? So we're going to try to, oh, I'm not even on camera. What am I doing? I always do that. So we're going to try to get uh, their live footage so they can go out there. And if you guys want to go out and get ready real quick. Dang. And uh, we're going to about to be trying this new thing. We're going to try to do like a, a mirror screen where we can, you know, feed his uh, Marcos's live, excuse me, Starlito's live. Over here, I mean, uh, we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna put his on here. Let me go ahead and pull. The, uh, do the um. Let me uh do the free sponsor video, and we'll be right. Back. This episode is brought to you by Papa John's, 280 North River Avenue, right here in Holland. Give him a call: 616-355-7272. Southside Cuts. With two locations, 114 West 16th or 375 Columbia Avenue, 616-836-7502. They're open weekly 10 to 8. 
Pure West Compassion Club, located at 9730 Adams Street, Holland, Michigan. Get a hold of them, 616-772-9420, or visit their website at purewestclub.com. All right, so as they're getting ready out there, we are going to have a special live shot here in the studio. We're going to have fun here. Enjoy what you guys listen to because they're, they're a great band. Three three band members uh, out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Los Hermanos 616 is the name of the band. So as soon as they get that going, we will uh, get going. Um, I thought he had his live already ready to go, but of course he didn't. Let me switch and make sure. Let me go uh, for a moment, everybody. Just hang in there. What's going on? Oh, like that already? Yeah. Sorry. I'm waiting for my dish. So, um, do we have a uh, let me see if he's live yet. You live yet? He's in the other room. So uh, again, we want to thank you guys for joining tonight. We have a special guest, Los Hermanos Six One Six. I probably said that the whitest way possible, but uh, well, what are you gonna do? But we also have these awesome Azteca promotion or entertainment and promotion koozies that he gave us so we can help promote. Um, here is their phone number if you're interested in getting a hold of them. Uh, 616-323-5380. Here, let me uh, show that a little bit better. Check that out. This is actually pretty cool. So as we wait. As we wait, uh, we'll be right back after these messages. ERB. All right, uh, all right, let me see if I can, we can get this going out. Sorry about the wait, but let's get it over to Marcos's page. Live. Thank you. 
Oh, wait, that's a video. Okay. One moment. Sorry, everybody, I had a refresh the Uh, hold on, I'm trying to, okay, there it goes. For some reason it's doing, if anybody can see that, let me know. Oh, no. oh. Let me know if you can see that. Thanks, Marty.
Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, let me do this. Marco's going to share something else. So let's go and get that live going. Apologize for the inconvenience. I'll go in here just a second. Here it is, right here. Can anybody hear it? Let me know. If anybody can hear that, let me know. I need to know. We can go fix it. Great song. Somebody needs to tell me if you can hear it or not because I can't hear it in my ear. I can't hear if you, I can't tell if you can hear it or not.
Yeah, it sounds way better. Than that. <laughs> um, I think you can like walk around out there for this one, or you just want to let it sit. Thanks everybody for joining tonight. We uh, this is our this is actually our second time doing this live band. Um, you know we had it going good first time, but then people came around. But we got it going. We got a good music. They're actually pretty good. I like their music. I'm good. I'm good. Still got a lot of people watching. What's that? Still got a lot of people watching. Nice.
Alright, I'm gonna go uh, sit at my desk and I'm gonna be right back. Hey, Derek, los hermanos, six, one, six. Thank you, Alex. All right, that was an awesome freaking show. You know, we did, we did, uh, you know, hold on, let me get to my page. I pushed it on, but. You know it, that was cool. I'm gonna say it right now. They did a good job. Uh, let me turn the speaker down so we don't get any uh, back drop or back uh, what do you call it? feedback. Um, good job, everybody. We oh man, that was cool. Um, anybody that did watch it, we appreciate you guys. I mean, we're gonna have more of this. Uh, we're working to a point where we can have like different angles. And, you know, just we're going to have fun with it. Uh, so anybody that has a band or looking to do a live show, come check out the Ben Herrera show here at Black River Studios. And um, let's have fun because that's what we're here for. Get your name out there. Um, we could also do a music video for you. Uh, we got music recording in here with Alpha One. Uh, any, anything you need. So yeah, just uh, get with us. Let us know six one or uh, give me six one six eight five zero four eight one nine, or message me on Facebook Messenger, and uh, we can set some up, set up a meeting. However you want to. So we're here for you. We're here for the community of Holland. Again, Los Hermanos six one six. We appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in for everybody, uh, and we'll see you. Hopefully Friday night. We got some stuff coming up this weekend, so probably just prepare for that. But we'll let you know, and we'll post some updates and everything. So everybody have a good night, and we'll see you uh, soon. Peace.